St. Justin, St. Justin, whom we uh, celebrate today, never really ended his quest for religious truth, even, uh, even when he was converted to Christianity after years of studying various uh, pagan philosophies. And as a young man, he was attracted to the school of Plato. However, um, he found that the Christian religion answered the great questions about life and existence, you know, even better than the philosophers. And upon his conversion, he uh, continued to wear the philosopher's mantle. He became the, the first Christian philosopher. He combined the Christian religion with the, uh, the best elements of Greek philosophy, something that St. Thomas Aquinas would do uh, centuries later. And in his view, you know, sound philosophy was an uh, educator that, uh, that would lead to Christ. And uh, actually, it's a bad philosophy that leads to bad theology. And now, uh, in today's gospel, it's taken for granted that the, the question the Jewish leaders asked our Lord is a reasonable demand. Namely, you know, tell us by what authority you do these things and who's given you this authority. You know, the reasonableness of the demand our Lord often acknowledged in other places, uh, declaring that uh, if by his doctrine and works he had not confirmed the uh, divinity of his authority, you know, it, wouldn't be, it would be no sin uh, to disbelieve or, or reject him. And uh, this principle, you know, which presupposes in pastors, the necessity of a lawful mission was formally and may still be, you know, argued against uh, Luther and Calvin and Tyndall and Cranmer and, and all the, uh, the so-called uh, reformers of the Catholic Church, you know, just where did these rebels derive their mission? Who sent them to preach? Who gave them the authority to change God's church? You know, let them show their commission for this purpose. You know, unless they can do this, you know, we shouldn't have anything to do with these usurpers or intruders, you know, especially the, uh, the dissenters within the Catholic Church today. You know, the only contact we should have is to lead them back to the truth in love. Now, you know, don't get me wrong, um, I'm not talking about the uh, good non-Catholics of today, you know, that are in good faith, who love Jesus and strive to keep his commandments, you know. But if the dissenters of today or the dissenters of old you know, claim that theirs is an extraordinary mission, you know, immediately derived from God, then, you know, why didn't they show their credentials stamped with the unmistakable seal of heaven? That is, you know, why did they not, you know, by clear and evident miracles such as our Lord and his apostles worked in order to indicate their being extraordinarily 
commissioned, you know, for the founding of their churches. Uh, it was our Lord who was telling his uh, opponents that, uh, you know, if you don't believe me, believe the works that I do. You know, without such uh, proofs as these, you know, no claims to uh, an extraordinary mission in opposition to the ordinary church authority can be allowed. And otherwise, you know, every fanatic or dissenter, you know, following his own warped faith and morality, you know, may pretend to have a call from heaven. And upon this uh, foolish claim, you know, preach up his uh, own dreams, you know, in place of the pure word of God, you know, in contempt of, of all authority of church or state. You know, if it be said that the, the missions of the uh, first dissenters were ordinary, and were given them by the ministry of men, then it obliges them to point out what men, you know, these were from, whom, whom they received this uh, ordinary power. You know, were they Catholics or Protestants? Um, well, they weren't Protestants, for they can't uh, name anyone who commissioned them to preach. And, they certainly weren't Catholics because um, the religion which Luther and his rebellious uh, brothers endeavored to spread was a, a new religion directly opposed to that of Catholicism and therefore you know, couldn't be taught in any virtue of a, a commission from Catholics. You know, we read in St. Paul's letter to the Romans, how can they preach, you know, unless they be sent? You know, some claim that uh, Luther had received his orders in the Catholic Church. But, um, you know, it's easily answered that uh, this could not authorize him to... Uh, to begin the preaching and teaching of another religion any more than a, a soldier's orders right, permit him to open fire on his own men. You know, um, our, our Lord uh, refuses to answer the Jewish leaders because they refuse to acknowledge or own uh, what they already know to be true, that our Lord's miracles are testimony enough. And uh, Saint Justin was so convinced of the truths of the Catholic Church that he would prefer being cut up into pieces than to deny them. And uh, by the way, that's not how he was martyred. But uh, he did write those very words in, in one of his letters.